going to uh, just, well, we're pulling honey, first pull of the year. This is one of our better yards. We've run overwintered doubles here. And this particular one has five honey supers. The top honey supers, uh, pretty sure, are not ready. But I'm going to just go through them a little bit. There's various ways of taking honey off. And I'm going to explain our method, our most common method. And I will also explain uh, some of the methods that we don't use. For those of you who bought one hive and you don't really have much need for more, where did I put it? Very simplest method of taking off honey is with a brush. It could be still sitting on the hive. Like I say, this one is not quite ready, but I'll show an example. This is some foundation we put in and just starting to draw it out. You basically, just take your frame and then sweep the bees off. In front of your hive, a nice soft bee brush. Now if this was ready, you know, we'd, we'd get all the bees off and we would take it home. Um, the method we're using, the me main method we use is a tip-off. A tip-off method involves taking the, oh, and this one's full, taking the honey and setting it approximately uh, three meters from the hive. We set it down. The bees will fly back to their hive over the course of the next couple of hours. And we'll come by tomorrow morning and the bees will be virtually gone. So there's a couple of things that you can't do with the tip-off method. You can't do it when they're robbing because they would be robbed out and all those supers would be empty and your bees would be uh, half dead. Um, that's the biggest problem with tip-off. The other problem with tip-off, it requires two trips to the yard. This, uh, I'm gonna show a frame that, that they've drawn out. They've just started to cap. Now, normally, if, you, if you're not a commercial beekeeper, you're gonna wanna see a little bit more capping than that. But this honey is, is uh, probably borderline dry. One of the things we do, we splash it like that, or try to splash it. And if you get a lot of splashing coming out, it's not ready. I'll show a little bit better on, on maybe one of these frames that were just put on more recently. So if you, you see this, this is, nectar it's not honey and you you shouldn't be taking it off that's why we're setting these two aside for now they're going to go back on the hive the maybe biggest or the most common use or method of taking honey off is with fume boards these are metal boards with a cloth bottom uh maybe 10 milliliters of of uh, bee repellent goes on this on the cloth it gets placed on the hive like this the sun warms it up and it is incredibly stinky uh, both to us and the bees and it forces the bees out because they don't like it we don't uh, we don't actually use fume boards um, we don't like the smell it's all also we'd rather not have extra chemicals in the honey even though the byproduct i think breaks down to something that's naturally occurring um, we would rather not use it people think you've kind of thrown up on yourself when you've used that all day too <laughs> 